Mr. Fox. Make a confession. Okay. Is there a red paper now? Dear Angie, I did some shopping while you were gone. Karen told me you had some urgent business to take care of, and things are just fine. You might find some food in the fridge a bit odd, but I assure you, George will love it. I can't wait for your turn in the zoos. Hurry, but I trust all is well. George seems happy and well looked after for which I'm very grateful. Take care and see you soon, Sarah. Thank you. What's the date? 13. Take. Sure. Still frozen? Paid someone's real mess while I was gone? Everything looks quite bad. George? The fuck is going on? Did you get into the room? I just wanted you to say it again. I was wrong. And I'm sorry. Please forgive me. What? Forgive me. It's all right, Kieran. I forgive you. Sometimes we all say things we don't mean. You just really loved that horse, didn't you? I did, as a matter of fact. This here is Richard's week. Join us. Let's drink in his memory. I don't think so, Kieran. Come on, nurse. Red or white? Or do you prefer beer? I'm not a big drinker. Besides, I need a clear head for now. Then take a bottle with you for later. Go on, it's on me. <gasps> Jenny, we need to talk. What? Speak up, girl. I can't hear you. Turn it off, will you? It's too loud. You gotta speak up. I can't hear you. The music? It's, it's too... I know. <laughs> this song fucking rocks. We need to talk. Now? Now! But what about the party? Come on, you'll be back before you know it. I guess, but... <gasps> hey, do you have any cigarettes? I'd really like to smoke one now. Sure. Sweet! <laughs> then uh, wait for me behind the barn. You know, where Robert died. Richard! What? The horse's name was Richard! Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, just wait for me by the barn. 
I'll be there in a minute. Minus one? Uh Since I have something else. George, are you missing? Yes, you are missing. Where the fuck is George? Where's George? George! You alright, George? Oh, I'm fine, dear. You? Yeah. Confess to George. I can't Looks like I can't It'll have to be Jenny Cigarette. Oof. You said I could have one. Oh, right. I did, didn't I? Here. Oh. This is heaven. Oh. Why did I ever quit? Jenny, there's something I want to talk to you about. Remember when I told you that I have cancer? Cancer? Uh, yes. But didn't you say you were getting better? No. This is incurable, inoperable lung cancer. It'll keep growing until it kills me. Are you sure? You don't look like you're dying to me. Wow. Wait, what? Of course I'm sure. Just because there's no blood pouring out of my eyes and I don't crawl on the floor doesn't mean that I'm fine. For now. I don't believe you. Oh. My pap had cancer, and he looks like Uncle Fester. You know, from the Adams family. And he puked a lot. That's because you probably had chemo. I'm not doing it. It's too late. And I've seen what it does to people. I don't want to die stuck in a hospital bed. I know a good doctor in LA. I'll give you his number when I get back home. You don't understand? This can't be cured. Not by the doctors, anyway. I'm not sure if I fed Richard the way I was meant to. Wait, wait, wait. Who is Richard again? The horse? Oh, uh, right. Oh, sorry. Too much wine makes me forget stuff. 
By the way, I'm trying to get Kieran drunk so he would tell me more about the bunker door in the basement. He's lived on this farm for a long-ass time, right? He's gotta know something. Another few drinks and he'll spill it all to me like a good little girl. I want to live, but I don't even know how to anymore. I can feel the doom clock ticking above my head and it's driving me insane. I should make a bucket list like other people do, to live while I still can. Do cool, crazy stuff like bungee jumping or swimming with fucking dolphins. But instead, here I am. Unable to accept what's coming, desperately trying to cheat death. But no one has that kind of power. Least of all me. <gasps> hey! I swam with dolphins in the Bahamas last year. Wh what? Uh huh. Did you know? The dolphins don't really smile. I mean, they look like they do. But they don't. It's just the shape of their face. Do you even listen to what I'm trying to say? I'm doing my best. But I don't really understand why you've decided to tell me your entire life story all of a sudden. Can it wait till tomorrow or something? No. Why not? Because I'm fucking dying. We're all dying. But we're not dead yet, are we? By the way, when dolphins die, imagine this. They still smile. Mmm. That's great, Jenny. That's great. I killed someone. It was in self-defense, and I... Please stop. I don't want to know. But... My lawyer always warns me to stay away from this sort of stuff. No offense, Angie. I get it. You did some bad shit. Didn't we all? But <laughs> I'll be damned if I get dragged to court as a witness for something you did. Maybe? It could potentially ruin my career. We can still so, talk to, you know, George. Just keep your mouth shut and uh, you'll be all right, I'm sure. I don't really have any friends. I mean, I have colleagues from work. Well, mostly just Tracy, because working for the agency, I travel a lot, covering shifts in hospitals and nursing homes all across the country. The pay is good, but you don't really get enough time to bond with anyone. This job here is quite different. I don't usually spend that long in one place. Angie? Why are you telling me this? I just... Need a friend, I guess. A real one. But I don't think it will be you. Excuse me? We're similar age. We both saved each other from danger. It would make perfect sense for us to be friends. But I'm really not feeling it. You're obnoxious. Oof. Selfish. Vain. And you're rude. Completely unbearable. You're annoying. You think the whole world should be at your feet because you're famous. But guess what? I've never watched any of your bloody movies, and I couldn't give two fucks about your celebrity status. You just want your drugs, and now you're trying to kill those cravings with alcohol. That's pretty obvious to me. But I won't judge you. I just... I just wish you could come down from your throne for a moment and speak to me like we're equals. Because fuck, I could really use a friendly soul right now. Yeah, you're right. Whatever this is, it's not working. You think you've got me all figured out, but you don't know shit. And it's fine. I don't give a damn about this place. And I don't give a damn about you and your fucking cancer. Oh my god. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if you made it all up just to get some attention.
Can we go talk to George? Is it gonna be Karen? And what in God's name happened to you? Jenny pushed me into a puddle. Hmm. Yeah, I figured it had something to do with her. That young lady can be lovely and charming when she wants to. But I'm starting to think she's nothing but trouble. She's just dealing with some problems at the moment. I thought I could help her, but I was wrong. She'll be fine. Women like her always come out on top. But who's gonna help you? Me? Look, I might be old, but I'm not blind. It's time to open this big bag of worries. You've been carrying it around for weeks. All right, I'll tell you. There's a disgusting, ugly cancer growing inside my chest. It's here to kill me, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. I probably shouldn't even be here, but I'd convince myself that I should do this one last job. I thought this would pay for the trip my late husband always dreamed of. Japan. It always seemed so... cool. But now that I think about it, it's not even my dream. Do I really want to go there? Or am I desperately trying to run away from people saying they're sorry and the way they look at me? To hide and pretend that I'm still fine and nothing's happened. And yes, I was married. It felt real. It was real. But my husband was a sick man. We both knew our time was short, and no matter how loved he made me feel, I accepted we wouldn't live happily forever after. And yet, it still surprised me, how quickly it all happened. Suddenly, I was alone, but I promised James that I would be strong, and I was determined to keep that promise no matter what. I made an effort to get dressed every morning, to eat, to go to work knowing that in time, the pain would become easier to bear. And then this happened. First the cough, then the chest pains, and blood on the tissue. I couldn't believe the same fucking thing was happening to me. I lost a husband, but I wasn't ready to lose my life. I mean, I promised him I'd live on. But they called me in, and they confirmed what you already knew. I remember they all looked down at their shoes whenever they mentioned the word cancer. That fucking cancer! Was it because I smoked more since James had died? But some people smoke all their lives, and they never get sick. Life had taken so much from me already, and then... It still decided it wasn't enough yet, so it came back for what's left. What did I do to be punished like this? Why me? It's not fucking fair. So, now I know how this ends. I get nowhere. My whole life was fucking pointless. I achieved nothing, and those few people that know me will soon forget I ever existed. And on top of it, I'm probably losing my mind, because I've seen things. A talking cat from a burned house. Different worlds. Disfigured creatures. But that's probably just my cancer spreading into my brain, because I'm sure it was all in my head. George. I'm just tired. I'm scared. And now I'm covered in mud, and I don't even have any clean clothes to put on. And I... Oh. Oh. 
was meant to be George. Thank you, George. I... I needed to let it all out, I guess. And now you also need a nice cup of tea. I'll make you one. But first, let's get you a change of clothes. I'm all right. These will dry soon. No, no. You should take one of the jumpers from the line. Anne, there's a pair of jeans there that looks about your size, too. No, I can't. I insist. They're Sarah's old clothes. She ain't worn them in years. Ah, they're too small for her anyway. Moy was thinking I'd give them to a charity shop in Honiton. But this is even better. And it'll save us a trip in a town. Yeah? Of course. Go on, grab one and go get changed. I'll put the kettle on. Thank you, George. You're a sweetheart. Let's take these trousers first. And then a sweater, but which one? Um... Colored Stripes, 1982. Christmas, Suddenly I'm back in the 80s. This isn't just a sweater, it's a time machine. <laughs> oh my god, Mr. Fox. Say nothing. silent as, as a stranger as strange as it may seem now for the second part of the task feeding mr fox what sort of food could this guy be into he wants a i think he wants the horse i'm sorry richard get in here so quick can he be blood transporting something come come getting weirder right now he's following me here you go mr. fox Richard Ah, oh, Richard. The beast is tearing him to pieces. This beast. Ugh. And he's done. Oh my goodness. Going that way. Hope he don't bump into George. Who knows what he'd do if he saw this masked weirdo.
Where is he taking me? To the moors? Right? We didn't get a shovel. Just won't shut him up for long. I stop this in before he opens his mouth. It's not gonna work. Wait, wait, wait! Give him the gun! Uh, hello? Fuck! <laughs> Say nothing. Can we redo that? Yes. Please redo that. Give him the gun. Come on, gun. Hand. Okay, there's a shovel. What the? Geronimo? Wait, isn't this... Isn't this the flat of... What movie he's playing with? What's wrong with the sound? Why did we do that? There's nothing here. Um, I 
Aha, there we go. Um, eternity arm fork. A key. Take apartment six key. Yeah, okay. We're inside Burn House Lane again. What is that? You see that glow glowing chain on the wall? Ooh. How odd. The boy in the painting makes me feel both sad and happy at the same time. It smells nice like sandalwood. Why is there incense? Turn on lamp. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is streaming. And the lamp light over him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that ties floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore. I know why you came here. Who are you? You want the box, don't you? The box? No need to pretend. I know you want it. Everyone wants it. Well, that's not entirely true. I don't want it. But you're new here, and why else would you come to this crumbling old house other than to find that damn box? Am I right? I was told to look for the treasure. This box sounds like it could be it. I'm sure it is, after all. There's nothing else here that's worth looking for. Just a whole lot of suffering, wherever you go. Who are you? Um, look. Whenever I try to remember my name, I get this huge fucking headache. Mitzi. It literally feels like my brain's being stabbed with hundreds of tiny knives. They even got so, the same voice actor. No offense, but I'll just skip that part, may I? It's not like it matters, anyway. I'm just another ghost, living on Burnhouse Lane, waiting for something. I think it should be happening any day now. You're sick, like me, aren't you? Everyone's sick on Burnhouse Lane. Haven't you noticed that yet? We're all dealing with it differently. Some of us give up right at the start. They put a gun to their head and pull the trigger. They swallow poison. Anything, really, just to escape the horrors waiting for them here. Then there's the weak ones. They try to fight, but how can they win against their own minds? So they all turn into pathetic shadows of their former selves, and they wander the dark corners of this place like zombies. And then there's us. We are strong enough to see it through to the end, but at what cost? Tell me more about this box. Well, it's black. Which, by the way, happens to be my favorite color. It's and it's made of wood, about this big. But it's not the box itself that you want. It's what's in it. And what's that? Oh, I won't spoil it for you. You'll see for yourself when you get it. If you get it, I mean. Because it's not going to be easy. Why do you not want the box for yourself? Oh, 
that's because I know what's inside. And it's not for me. Or rather, I know I'd be very tempted to use it, because I really don't want to die. But that would make me someone that I don't want to be. So I'll pass. Thank you. But you can have it. It's okay. I don't judge. Stop beating around the bush and tell me what's in the box. Now. Don't start with this cat voodoo, please. I've been around cats for so long I've grown immune to it. But since you really want to know, I'll tell you a bit more. You want spoilers? I'll spoil it for you. Why not? But I'll only do it if you play my game and give me a correct answer to my question. Interested? Sure. Yes. Great! It involves magic, so listen carefully. I am now picturing an object. A vegetable. I can see it inside my head clear as day. I will now send this image into your mind. Share it with you, telepathically. Let's see. I want you to focus real hard and see it too. Take your time. And then tell me, what vegetable am I thinking of? An onion. Are you thinking about an onion? Nope. Fuck. That's a wrong answer. Sorry. Hey, how do I know you're not cheating? I'd never do that. Shouldn't you have the correct answer, like, written on a piece of paper to prove it to me? Huh. Good point. I should, really. Oh well, I'll try that next time. But for now, the game's over, I'm afraid. And sadly, we both lost. Do you know where I can find this box? Yeah. It's in the other building, right across this great big chasm. Look! Ah, great, we have to cross it. But how can I get there? I know a way. I could take you there. But there's something we should do before we go. And I know this will sound a bit crazy. But we'll need a cat to help us. The bent cat? You know him? What? No, he's not burned. He's white as snow, with a black stripe on his tail. Moonlight. He kind of looks like a big raccoon. You know what I mean? Moonlight? Yes, so you know him. Oh, we've been to hell and back together. He's an old friend. Where is he? Well, it's a long bloody street. He could be anywhere. But you can summon him. Summon? A cat? Summon a cat, indeed. How the hell do I summon a cat? Well, there's only one way I know. So, tell me. Can you by any chance play the piano? What? Um, yeah. I can. I used to be pretty good. But what's that got to do with bloody cats? They love it. How do you know? I have this friend who always opens the window and plays for the neighborhood cats. And they all come running like she's their cat mother calling them for dinner. Shall we ask your friend to play, then? No. She... She can't come to Burnhouse Lane. Thankfully. So, yeah. It's gonna have to be you, I'm afraid. Oh, and make sure you put out a bowl of milk for the cat first. They like that. Okay. 
Milk and music. Yeah, I can do that. It's time for me. I'll talk to you later, girl. Be careful out there. I heard strange noises outside earlier tonight. Kinky lady, but with a face like this, she'll have a hard time finding boyfriend. How long she bats her eyelashes. Doors blocked by a pile of ash. But even if it wasn't, it's clearly missing a doorknob. Oh, Mitzi. Oh, we should have saved first. God damn it. Did I pick onion by mistake like last time, I think? Uh, onion has layers, that's what I remember. Six four was it? Why? Why? Maybe we're meant to block the door? Lock? Can we lock it? I don't know why. I can still go through. Thirty steps to nowhere, the machine from the inside. Ah, for fuck's sake. Uh, 
Ah, there's a door here. Whoever lived here is too disabled or sick. I don't have my axe. Oh my god. Feels like something's crawled out through this hole. Who knows? It's still lurk around here. Stuck the second and keeps going back and forth. The body looks terribly deformed and it's covered in red oozing boils. This man died after a long illness. In the end, it turned him into a monster. His stomach looks oddly bloated. Is there something inside it? Uh. Say anything. It just blinks. He stopped making noises with the light off. No. What about a yellow light? Mm. A few moments later. For fuck's sake, that scared the crap out of me. Am I stuck? Jesus Christ, I'm stuck. Oh my god, that scared the bejesus out of me. Dear lord.
Oh, fuck my life. Can we climb? Oh no, Ben! He's dead. Maybe he did this to himself. Fuck. I forgive you for what you did. I know you didn't want to hurt me. I forgive you for what you did. I know you didn't want to hurt me. Like it could still work. Mm, make a latte. Milk. There we go. Yeah. Clearly something's missing. A cup. You can get a cup. Come on. A cup. Take. Look closer. I have so many items. There we go. Uh, Water shell saw this gonna coffee shell looks like it's broken too. Turn off water. Need a tool. We have a tool. Yes. Will that give me only milk? Yep. There we go. Take milk. I think we can go back. not the building. Aha. Uh This should be the basement, right? Yes. Excellent.
got the milk for the kitties. Is there anything in particular I should play? I don't think it matters, as long as the music is coming straight from your heart. I haven't played in years. Don't worry. It'll all come back to you. I'm sure of it. It's time. Be careful, Al. I heard strange... It's fine. I already took care of that. It's locked shut. Wait. Old piano could play, but let it appears to be locked. I don't have a key. Fuck! What about using... Scissors? Hmm... What did this say again? The lamplight over him streaming throws a shadow on the floor. From out that shadow... Okay. I think what I meant to do... Let's go back into that room downstairs. Over here. And put the yellow light. And look down. No. Loaded. Is there something inside him? Yes, scissors. The fuck? Keys. Alright. I don't know which one is the right one. Pick a key. All look the same. Oh, wait, I know. Turn off. Remove. And let's put the black light back on. Yes. Nice. Alright. I don't think we need it anymore, but I'm gonna take this again. Save real quick. We can't save? Right. It's not here, it's downstairs, was it? Or uh, I don't know where, where the safe ashtray is. Yeah, I muted the music, you guys. It's alright. Looks like it's not the right song, though. Nothing's happening. Wait, stop.
There we go. It worked. This is incredible. Cats are magical creatures. Everyone knows that. Hey, how you doing there, mate? You all right? Okay, you pet him now. And then we shall go over to the other building and wait for the elevator. Huh? I'll explain it later. Now go on. Show him some love. Oh, we're not meant to. Oh, uh, no. is Rob. Oh no. So, here's the plan. We need to get up to the top floor. That's where the box is. Behind the red door. Apartment 13. It's locked, but I can handle it. How exactly? Um... I've been known for my ability to unlock things with lockpicks. I'm not a burglar or anything, but it's a useful skill to have. Sometimes it even saves lives. The problem is with the elevator. It doesn't work like it should. And that's where our friend Moonlight steps in. It's kind of tricky, so listen carefully. There's this device up there. A scale of swords. Moonlight can bring items scattered around here and place them on the scale. If he picks the right ones, the elevator should go straight to the top. What sort of items are we talking about? Well... At first glance, they're just ordinary, everyday objects. But they all represent the good and bad things that people like us will never get to experience in life anymore. And how is a bloody cat supposed to know what they are? Cats know more than you think. I thought you'd understand that by now. Come on then, let's get in the elevator. Okay, find three items that represent the best size of life. G and the girl will not live to experience. Place them on the scale above the elevator shaft. Elevator will move to the top when right ball when right ball fully outweighs the left. Okay. Can we go downstairs from here? 
Mm, wait. Rain. Ah, fuck. Can money buy happiness? Yes, going to most, but it can also poison our hearts with greed. We have to spill blood and die in the same day, both battlefields and dark alleys. Nope, we don't want that. Travel? Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm so sorry. Wedding ring. Yes, that one. Married life. Fuck. Oops. Thank you. Can we open this door? No. The rain again. Throw a winner losing matter is what matters a lot of to s the thrill of winning and losing is what matters a lot to some cards gambling just a way one can prove their value to others get rich of course but a true player doesn't play for the money they play to win yeah no Drugs, no. Maybe the cards, but... Alcohol. A fine whiskey, expensive bottle. No. Ah! Is that a gamer? Trophy is symbol of achieving greatness. Yeah, that one. Ah, <laughs> YouTube trophy. Tube -ube. Wow. What is that? Food. Taken away from them. Yeah, food. I would consider food. I 
Alright, time to go up, I guess. Ooh, there's a baby there. Can we change? Replace the burger. Shit, we need to get the ring again. Two hours later. This gray hair, age. Age, marriage, and then children. Pretty sure a lot of people would probably like argue with this, but then again, this is Mitzi and um, Angie's. What are they gonna miss? There we go. Two bitches are welcome. This is it! Now let's get inside. Well, shit. Spiders. There's only one thing I'm scared of. And that's spiders. I kind of like them. You know, there's this dark, indescribable beauty in spiders. Really? I'm with, I'm look at with those Mitzi. spider eggs. Or whatever the fuck they are. They look beautiful to you. Yeah, okay. That's fucking gross. Has to be a treasure I've been looking for. The door. Fuck. I'll hold it. Go. Run. I can't leave you here. Please, you have to. It's too late for me. No. You've still got a chance. So get the fuck out of here.
I don't have anything. Can we open this? I was asked to retrieve from burn house. What's inside? Well, what do I do? Maybe I should put a food here. No. This? No. I do put it back. No. Uh, run. I've ran, but oh fuck yeah. Oh no. safe now. Whatever you saw in there, it's gone. For now, at least. Oh yes, I can talk. It's almost dawn. I no longer feel the hunger inside. That means you're free to speak to me, too. I see you have the box. Good. Now, put it on the big rock and open it. Let's see. The fuck is it? It's a cigarette. Good. Almost done here. Last but not least, you must cut your hand. We need a drop of your blood to soak into the cigarette. smokes this cigarette will receive your cancer. Choose carefully who you give it to. Once the smoke hits their lungs, there will be no going back. Only death and suffering. And for you, a new life. Now forget you ever saw me. I was just a dream. A ghost, a shadow, one day we'll meet again. I'll take you with me for a long walk down to the river. But don't trouble yourself with that now. Now it's time to celebrate your success. Shouldn't you smile? Was Mr. Fox really just a dream? Oh, what difference does it make? What matters now is that all your tasks are done. You got what you wanted. Well, almost. It'll all be over as soon as someone smokes that special cigarette of yours. Easy to say. I didn't know it would be like this. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I can do this. Take your time. But not too long. 
Soon the sickness will make you weak, and then... Well, let's just say that it would be such a shame to waste your gift after you worked so hard for it. Don't you think?